at what you're watching. It's EETV and surprise, it's live from here in East Elgin. That's right, go Eagles. Let's see what's up at our school. But only for a couple minutes, and then you gotta get back to work. Good morning, Eagles. Today is Wednesday, October 5th. I'm Catherine, and here are your announcements. All grade 12 students planning to apply to university should attend the university information session in the library on October 12th at 11 a.m. In the library, please come to guidance to sign up in order to attend. Now out to faith about Thursday's Spirit Day. Hey Eagles, uh, so Thursday tomorrow is Purple and Gold Day at East Elgin. We'd love to see everyone showing some school spirit. As well, tomorrow is the Open House and the Junior and Senior Football Games. Um, there will be food trucks available as well. We're taking donations for the Cornered Cupboard. It should be a great night and we'd love to see everyone out there. As well, we are needing a couple people to Lions Football, so if you could contact Mr. Arnett if you're interested. Back inside. To sign up for the Jill of All Trades session, please see guidance for important information. Are you a low German-speaking female high school student interested in a career as a police officer? See guidance for a unique opportunity to gain career experience. For all grade 12 students and interested in learning more about Ontario colleges and the programs they offer, there will be a field trip to Fanshawe College on Friday, October 14th in the morning. All Ontario College representatives will be there to answer your questions. Please be sure to get your permission form and guidance. This is free to attend, but you must hand in your permission form by Wednesday, October 12th. Grade 11 students interested in going to university, listen to this. Scotiabank Scholars Program provides a free transition program for students beginning in grade 11. Monthly sessions about preparing for university life as well as other benefits. See guidance before Friday to learn more. In 2019, the Canadian Parliament declared the second week in September to be Mennonite Heritage Week. Some students here at East Elgin decided to create this short video in honor of Mennonite Heritage Week. Did you know that in 2019, the Canadian Parliament declared the second week in September, Mennonite Heritage Week? This week is an opportunity for East Elgin and our community to learn about Mennonite Canadians, their unique history, culture, and their contributions that have helped shape our country. Yeah. Hey, did you know that Mennonites in Canada have been here since the late 1700s? Really? Yeah. Who knew? I know! Mennonites came to Canada to escape war and persecution. Mennonites have contributed to a welcoming and prosperous country. These are values they hold dear. These values are Canadian values. You might be saying to yourself, what is a Mennonite? Who are the Mennonites? Hey, would I know a Mennonite if I saw one? Good question. Here to help us answer this question is a video produced by filmmaker Paul Plett. Mennonites. You ever wonder about them? They wear these hats, got these beards, suspenders. This is what Mennonites look like, right? Well, yeah, a lot of Mennonites look like this, but not all of them. I mean, they don't all wear these hats. They don't all have beards or wear suspenders. I mean, a lot of Mennonites look like this, or this, or this. So what makes a Mennonite a Mennonite? Hi, I'm Paul Plett, and I'm a Mennonite. I also happen to be a filmmaker, and I've always wanted to know more about who the Mennonites are. Where do we come from? I know that my ancestors traced their roots back to the Netherlands in the 1500s, but a lot of other Mennonites traced their roots back to Switzerland. And over the last 500 years, Mennonites have been migrating to every corner of the earth. Today, there's Mennonites living in Zimbabwe, in Indonesia, in Bolivia. Why do Mennonites keep moving around? And how did my family get to Canada? I want to find out, so I've decided to go on a journey. I'm going to retrace the steps of my ancestors and find out where I came from. And along the way, I'm going to talk to Mennonites from every walk of life. Pastors, historians, moms, dads, kids. I'm going to talk to every Mennonite that I can 
and hear what they think about being a Mennonite today in the modern world. How do we fit in? By shedding some light on where we came from and exploring where we are today, I'm hoping that I can learn a little bit more about where we're going to. And not just physically, because clearly Mennonites are everywhere, but where are we going to spiritually? With all this moving around, what's the unifying thing that makes us all Mennonite? Is it our faith? Is it our shared heritage? Is it our love of pie? What's the idea at the center of it all? And in today's modern world, is that idea in jeopardy? Being a Mennonite meant something in the past. It means something today. But what's it going to mean in the future? That's what I want to find out. That is all your announcements, Eagles. Hear me out, okay? You just straight up left. All right, hold on. Let me take the jacket off because I got a few here. If you are helping and signed up for GABA today with the elementary cross country event, please meet Mr. Arnett at Steen Park around 12. Thank you in advance. Attention, grade 12 university bound students. Redeemer University will be here today for an information presentation. Wow, mouthful. At 1130 in the library. If you're interested in applying to the Redeemer, please attend this useful session. Catherine, come back here. It's your turn. I lied. There's more. Eagles, follow us at EETV underscore IG. We have a lot of stuff coming out on Instagram very soon that is very important. Do that. Catherine, now it's your turn. That is all your announcements, Eagles. Take your hats and hoods off and stand for the national anthem. 